guys! So today I want to talk about a book that I had previously reviewed on my YouTube channel and I wasn't very happy with it so I decided to come back and do it again. Um, so today we will be talking about Behold the Dreamers by Imbolo Imbue, a Cameroonian author that I have much respect for. And this book is about two immigrants from Cameroon, Jende Jonga and his wife Nini. They immigrate to, they migrate to the United States uh, with their young son Leomi, looking for a better life. Uh, they, they don't have documents and so um, their, their options for work are limited. Uh, Nini has hopes of becoming a pharmacist. She's in school. She's, I mean, this girl is doing it all, okay? She's working hard. You see her studying. Um, and her husband is a liveried cab driver in New York City. Fortune finds him and he ends up getting a job for uh, a Lehman Brothers executive. And this all takes place in 2008, right before the Lehman Brothers uh, financial crises. So, you know, he's working for this uh, gentleman. And I mean, so many things are happening in this story. Nini ends up getting a job working for uh, the Lehman Brothers, uh, the Lehman Brothers executive's wife also uh, during one summer. And so the executive and his wife, they're named the Edwardses. Um, first, the gentleman's name is Clark, his wife's name is Cindy. She's a nutritionist, I think, but she doesn't really work. So, I mean, she, she's just, uh, a, I guess what you would just call a stereotypical wealthy woman in New York. You know, maybe she's a housewife, but we don't really know too much about what she does outside of the house. Um, but Nini and Jende quickly learn that no matter how wealthy you are, you know, money does not buy happiness, um, even in America. And... Uh, so there are lots of different things that take place, you know, throughout this book. There's uh, domestic abuse. Um, so there's one incident of domestic abuse that was really just, you know, uh, it was troubling. It was just troubling. Um, so there's that. There's alcoholism. There's uh, family relations that don't go too well, you know. Um, there's you know undocumented immigrants there's there's just a lot of different things that take place through this book and the reason why i appreciated this book is because as an immigrant to the united states myself i mean i've been in this country i migrated here from ghana i didn't come as an adult i was very young i was seven years old when i came to this country um but I can understand the stories of immigrants. I understand them. I get them because I've heard these stories from people around me, from family members, from friends, you know, who've, who've struggled uh, to, with documentation. So I understood this story. And I think if you are a, a reader of this book or if you're somebody who's even curious about picking up this book, I would encourage you just because, you know, if you live in a in a world where you don't encounter these stories you don't ever have these experiences um you don't know that your neighbor might be an undocumented immigrant there are so many people from all different parts of the world who are undocumented and they're not just from you know latin america or mexico or south america there are many many people in this country who are just undocumented and you just you just don't know which one's your neighbor you don't know um they could be from europe and be undocumented you know so i think that this book is awesome i think that the author did a great job of putting these characters together and making them so complex i will have to say that the only thing about this book that i probably didn't like so much is the fact that there was somewhat of a fairy tale ending, sort of, sort of, not really, but sort of. Um, and I, I, <laughs> I say it's fairy tale-ish because I can't imagine anybody who's going through what they're going through having such fortune thrown at them um, in a way. I mean, these characters, they suffer, okay? But then they also get, uh, they, 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 fortune smiles on them, you know? So this doesn't happen for everybody. 
you know um there are a lot of people who just go to sleep at night and they they keep tossing and turning because they're so stressed um and and don't know what's going to happen to them or their children um in the future so anyway this book is awesome i think you'll enjoy it i've enjoyed it and i hope that if you have read it please comment below and let me know what you think okay or send me a private message and then we can really get into it and not spoil things for other people who haven't read. So I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.